This video will demonstrate a simple technique for adding a button on a sheet so that when the person clicks the button, the actual macro will run. Uh, adding a simple button is, is actually pretty easy. So uh, first things, let's just take a look. I'm going to reuse the same piece of code here that just asks the user for how many widgets and the quantity of the widgets and puts the total cross in a text box on the screen. So there's nothing very fancy about the code, but let's go ahead and set up a button. So I'm on the developer ribbon in uh, Excel and I click on the insert button in the controls group and I'm going to pick the forms control button. That's the very top left button that you find in the in the uh, insert menu here. So I'll just click on that and then I'm just going to drag out a button. You know you can drag the button any size you wish and when you drag out the button a dialog box will appear asking you which macro that you want to uh, run when that button is clicked. Now you'll notice that they actually put a macro name in there, button 2 underscore click, and you hit new, you can make a brand new macro at that point. But I, I don't want to make a new macro, I want to use the one I have. So I'm going to click the demo macro that I already have and click OK. And now I've got my button here and uh, I'd like to maybe change the name of my button. So uh, if you right click on that button, uh, say edit text, you can go ahead and edit the text for that button and uh, I'll just change it to something kind of cheesy. So I'll just say click me. And uh, I'm assuming that I could also change the format of that. So I'll go to format and I could make the font bigger if I wanted to. So, you know, I can make it an 18 point font and uh, make a bold, change the color, uh, whatever. So I'm not going to do that. But uh, so there's my button. And now if I click off my button somewhere, so I'll just click over here to the right or to the left actually. And now I have this button sitting on the screen here, and if I click that button, it should run my demo macro, right? So let's give it a try. So I'll click the button, and it pops right up with the original message box saying what this little program is going to do. And then you click OK, and it asks you for how many widgets, and uh, type in five widgets, $10 per widget, and it pops the cost there on the screen, and there's OK, and you click OK. And so that's all there is to uh, making a simple button that will run your macro. Um, if you wanted to do something to change that button, like change the actual macro that it was running or do any of the formatting or anything like that, or maybe drag it to a new location, if you right-click, you'll notice that uh, you get the handles around the button, you get all these options pop up, so you can say assign a different macro to it, for instance, or go ahead and change the formatting. You also could drag the button now. Um, you'll notice I get the four-headed arrow here. You could drag the button and move it to a different location. So that's all there is to uh, making a simple button so that you can execute a macro from your Excel sheet.